Good morning, this is Pastor Tom Donnelly with Firmly Rooted Ministries, and today's devotion is for July 6th. And the title for this, this devotion is, Like Jesus, We Have to Make the Time. The verse is this. In Luke chapter 4, it says, At daybreak, Jesus went out to a solitary place. The people were looking for him, and when they came to where he was, they tried to keep him from leaving them, but he said, I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God to other towns also, because this is why I was sent. Like Jesus, we have to make the time. What, am I, what do I mean? You know, we are so busy. There are so many things to do, so many things to accomplish. There's only so many hours in the day. You've heard these kinds of things. You probably felt them in your own heart. How am I going to get everything done? You know, where am I going to fit it all? And then all of a sudden, what we find out is the things that get left behind are oftentimes the spiritual things. We stop going to church because, you know what, we got so much to get done around the house. We stop our daily devotions because, oh my gosh, I've got to work 12 hours a day this, you know, this week or during this time period. All of a sudden, we begin to subtract our connection to the kingdom of heaven because the demands of the kingdom of this world are weighing on us. Now, what I want you to notice is that Jesus is different. He's always thinking about the kingdom of heaven. Just the day before, he healed Peter's uh, mother. Just the day before, he was healing the sick and, and preaching the gospel, uh, casting out demons into the evening. But still, the very next morning, he gets up early and goes into a solitary place. So he was doing kingdom work. And he could have just woken up the next day and listened to the people that were down on the ground saying, you got to stay with us and keep on going. But Jesus went to a solitary place to be with the Father. And somehow in that communication, in, 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 in that, that, that relationship that he has with the Father, the Father communicated to him that it was time for him to move on to another town. And that's exactly what he does. Even in the kingdom of heaven, even we pastors, all you spiritual people who do spiritual stuff all day, if we're not spending time, solitary time with God, how do we know what we're doing today is what he wants us to do? Let alone those of you who have the difficulty of balancing the kingdom of this world, the job, the, the, the responsibilities, the things going on in this kingdom that you, that, that you are bound to take care of, as well as the eternal. So it doesn't matter which way your life is aimed, what Jesus is telling us is that we've got to make the time. We have to make the time to be with our Heavenly Father, so that we are thinking in the realm of the kingdom of heaven, so that we can re-enter our lives with a purpose and a direction that we believe the Father, via the Holy Spirit, is directing us. Well, I encourage you to read the devotion attached, and I pray that this devotion is a blessing to you. Have a firmly rooted day.